Hello, Steph here from TechnoIvo and welcome back to the channel. Now, I wanted to redo this video in its entirety as some information on our past version was just slightly incomplete and it was a little bit wrong and we wanted to revisit it. You seem to be enjoying our Steam Deck video, so I wanted to make sure we provided as accurate information as possible for you and aren't afraid to admit when we get something wrong. Now, if you haven't already seen our previous videos, check out our Steam Deck videos playlist on the channel page, and I'll also be dropping some links below in the description, and I'll be sticking some cards up here in the corner throughout this video, so keep an eye out for them. Now, one question that has cropped up a few times in the comments, and one that we've also asked ourselves, is about comms and the difference between using Discord and the Steam voice chat on your Steam Deck. So Discord is probably the most common way us PC gamers talk to our friends while we game. Now, it's just so easy to jump in and out of different channels, the quality is usually top tier, and it's just so easy to use. So here's how we found using Discord on the Steam Deck first. Now, SteamOS doesn't have a native Discord app for you to download, which is slightly frustrating, but there is at least a workaround. Now, the easiest way so far, though do leave a comment if there is an easier way than this, is if you go into your desktop mode and download through the Linux Discover Store. There you will find the Discord app, you can download it, install it and log in like you would on any other PC device. Now from here you can either use Discord on the desktop mode or if you want to use it inside of SteamOS, that's also pretty easy too. Now all you need to do is add it to the desktop version of Steam as a non-Steam product. Now from here, relaunch SteamOS and it will appear in your library for you to open from inside of SteamOS. So great, that's done, let's give that a test. So I'm not sure if you can see that, it's a little bit overexposed, but Nick is actually calling me through Discord just to give you an idea of what the audio quality is going to be like when using Discord on the Steam Deck. Hello? Hello? Oh, you're very quiet on my end. Say something again. Hello. Um, I haven't changed anything on my end, so... You're using your headset? I'm using my Steel Series headset, yes. So you're at 200% now. So now I can hear you pretty much perfectly. Let me just jump yep. back into the actual game. Right, say something now. Hello. I am listening to you play Sonic. <laughs> See, I can hear you perfectly. I'm not sure how well it's been picked up on microphone, but I can I hear can, you perfectly uh, now. I can pick you up quite well, and the game, like, both. When you're not talking, I can't hear the game, but when you are talking, I can hear the game. So that's not too bad, I kind of expected that because the speakers and the microphone are so close together, right? Now if you didn't want to muck around with Discord and the desktop and adding Discord to SteamOS and all of that kind of jazz, not that it takes that long anyway, but there is a simpler way of doing things and that's using the built-in Steam voice chat which comes pre-installed on the deck anyway. And via the Steam chat you can type and chat to your friends or join the voice chat and speak over comms. And to do this, go to your friends list on the Steam Deck by clicking the Steam button and from here you can select a friend or create a group for a group gaming session. Now let's just show you that test now. So what I'm going to be doing now is just jumping into friends and chat, going down to Nick who we've just spoken to. If you, if you can see that, we're calling Nick. Oh, I think he's just answered. Hello. Are you there? Oh my God, you're quieter here. You're quieter oh, here than up? you were on the other. <laughs> Say something again. Hello. Okay. I'm... Yeah. So I can jump into my quick menu and I can change my microphone sensitivity i'm assuming i'm a bit louder now that that is awful you're like uh, distorted and booming really clicking yep you're like clicking what about now that's fun okay so i've set that to maybe two thirds of the way up you're okay i can uh, i can at least understand and hear you so if i now jump back into the same game or am it's... i am i clipping again yeah the, the volume difference hasn't isn't that noticeable but the quality you clip in is like painful so that's gone back down now to default yeah so a little bit quieter but you're clear i still can't hear any of the game so you can you can't hear any of the game now i'm running through exactly the same section as i was before on sonic 
And you uh, can't hear any of that. Nothing compared to playing through Discord. Even when I'm talking. Yep. So Steam's I don't com think I've heard anything yet. Steam's compression is really kicking in then, I suppose. And the fact yeah. it's able to cancel down the game sounds and block out the game sounds coming from the speaker because I haven't got a headset on and I can hear you perfectly. It does this thing where it dips the volume of the game every time you talk. Oh, so that's perfect. That's what you want. It's mixing it down for you automatically. Yeah, it's doing it automatically. Oh, so there really is. There's no point using Discord at all then, is there really? No. Not if, not if you're playing Steam games with your friends on Steam. On both lines of communication, you can then click the Steam button to return to your main menu and launch a game. Although the Discord uh, software does open as a separate app inside of Steam OS, whereas the Steam voice chat is just already pre-installed in Steam OS anyway. The line of communication that you have chosen will remain open indefinitely until you leave or close the chat down. Similar to how you would leave on a Discord call on a desktop, PC or Steam on Windows. Now, as mentioned in other videos, the deck does have a microphone built in, plus those small speakers to the front, and both actually work pretty well considering. And that's what we've tested here today. Speaking to my friends using the built-in microphone with the deck about 40 centimeters away from my mouth, they could hear me without any problem in my room, although it is pretty quiet in here. We've yet to test it in a busy area, but in all honesty, who's playing games without headphones in public anyway, especially multiplayer games relying on comms? No one. But the difference between Discord and Steam voice chat does seem pretty drastic to me. The Steam OS chat for me does win the day over using Discord on the desk desktop or even inside a Steam OS. Not only did it produce a clearer voice for me in front of my Steam Deck, but it also auto mixed voice audio and my game audio on the fly. This was hugely beneficial and removes any real finicky setting tweaks. I was able to turn Nick up to the max volume and his voice was super clear, while Nick reported that there were zero spillovers from the Sonic Mania game that I was playing. The trade-off here, however, though, seems to be with my microphone sensitivity and my voice distorting and sounding bad every time I moved that sensitivity dial up from halfway. Whereas with Discord, every time I spoke, Nick could hear my game. Of course, this could all be avoided if a headset was used, similar to how it is on a gaming PC, as then the speakers and microphone won't be near each other. But remember, if you're going wired, you're going to need a dongle for USB support, unless your headset, of course, is USB-C. Now we wanted though to test the onboard equipment that Steam provides in their deck. We haven't tested things like audio drivers or software drivers for headsets, so mileage may vary. But if you've got a plug and play gaming headset or even a set of Bluetooth headphones or earbuds, you're going to be absolutely fine. Now that's a wrap on this video. We've got a few other Steam Deck videos on the channel, so go and check those out too. And if you want to see more from us in the future, hit that subscribe button and all of our future videos will pop up in your feed.